everyone welcome back to the channel this is going to be a very very rare video i am in the driver's seat of the combine i'm about to go take off on my first load of beans solo probably combine 1500 eight bushels of corn by myself i just ran around with dad fill a hopper of beans and he's got to take off and go do some other things but got 6088 bean head 3020 case ih with an air reel 25 footer and i'm about to get started here Whoop. turn suppose getting out of park would be a good idea that I've got my auger out still I better shut that Lang's dairy guy went by a soap guy asked if he'd get a shout out the next video I have a feeling I know where he's going drop off towels and acid and sanitizer and stuff for us and then start rev it up a little bit here to turn the head on all right we'll crank her up a little hot full throttle now and I was told not to go faster than three and a half. Three one, three point two is good. And we're filling up. And my first solo dump. She's slowing down. Drain cart's empty, so the first one I shouldn't have to move, but man, not having the duels on that tractor yet makes that thing not look right. But uh, so far, so good. It's a beautiful day. We haven't had rain in a while. No rain in the forecast. Beans are a little on the dry end, but got to get them out now they're not going to get drier that's or excuse me not going to get wetter that's for sure not be my luck right now honey roads in turkey with mustard, cheese, and mayonnaise on uh, honeybee bread. Pretty much my go to kill bunch. But going good now. I've done about seven and a half eight. Solo so far. About three hoppers. So, guys, my combining excursion did not go very long. I did about nine acres, roughly 600 some bushels. But then I broke down uh, one of the links with the bracket the bracket broke on the feeder house chain holding the slot together but uh, i had to go home and get calves fed switch cows and dad is back now they've got the combine running and i'm gonna go out and capture a beautiful sunset with a drone and uh, dad's gonna fill all the wagons in the grain cart for the night and we'll hit it hard tomorrow again so beautiful view beautiful weather today this is the upper 60s 
this afternoon. Sunny, not much breeze. Cows sure enjoyed it. And uh, it's getting dry though. For, we need some rain bad, nothing in the two week forecast. I haven't had any since the hail that uh, did some damage to some crops to the east of us. That was over two weeks ago now. So we uh, pray for rain and we'll get the bird up in the air. Mini two, ready for takeoff.
All right, guys, next day now, after my combine excursion yesterday and the drone footage of last night, got that field done, head off, move to another farm. Dad's got combine coming back from home. He had to run home and fuel up the combine. I saw him coming down the road, got stuff moved, parked. That bean field is next, but corn is drying down. I'm not sure when this stuff was planted, but let's go take a look. It's a good looking ear if you ask me. Nice long kernels. Still is not black layered yet. But dad's here with the combine. About to get started, but the wind is blowing the wrong direction. I have a feeling this might be our best field. Last well, saw beans in 2018. So ground that typically hasn't seen beans in a long time does very very well compared to corn soybean corn soybean rotation it's alfalfa 20 through no 19 through 21 and then corn in 22 and 23 and now in beans most likely going to be corn next year We've got more ground, so we might not need this bigger field for alfalfa. But shearing the ground nice. Feel bad for anyone that's going to be driving down the road and get caked in soybean dust. But I need to go to the barn. Got to breed a cow, one for sure, and feed calves. And. Hopefully a few more days of soybeans and then on to high moisture corn. And I have not helped at all today, but had to do some homework the so next day. Combine going. Still dry. Hey guys, I'm on the way to the sales barn now. It's Friday morning. I got two black calves, one, one bull calf, one heifer. They're twins. Uh, they're doing really well. Those were born on Sunday morning. And then Monday afternoon, we had a monster brown Swiss calf born. And we got our best money so far on brown Swiss calves last week. So I'm off to Lanesboro Sales Commission to drop off some calves and they're in the hut behind me but uh, today knock on wood we should finish combining soybeans and I have to figure out uh, I'm gonna run around and pull some ears of corn and hand shell them and try to figure out which moisture is highest for us to go for high moisture corn in a few days and we are out of high moisture corn from last year or will run out today or tomorrow so 
we're gonna also have to try and find some of the driest stuff possible to grind daily combine a little bit and grind daily until uh, we get that high moisture bag full to, that way we don't have to go to town and get some 15% dry corn we can just keep it fresh and don't have to worry about it spoiling so should be exciting to get done with beans beans for the most part at the end have been really good as far as yield goes really really impressive so we'll see you guys later this afternoon so now i'm out in one of our cornfields i'm on my way back from the sales barn i've got three ears here i'm going to hand shelf we're going to run this sample to town i'm going to go to a different field first and then uh, later in the day i might go back and get more samples somewhere else so I just hand shelled three cobs it's in an old inoculant container. This is some of the earlier stuff. Not gonna be combined for high moisture corn, but could be a candidate to uh, combine fresh each day. So sample one down. I think I'm gonna take three yet this morning before I go home. You know, probably do a few more this afternoon. So I just got done running five moisture samples at the co-op from five different fields. First one you saw me pull from was the driest. That was also our second earliest planted field. That was it, 21% corn. We could start hauling that for uh, dry corn anytime. Um, and then Another sample was 27. By the time we start high moisture, that will be too dry. And then some, another sample at 27%. And two samples that were planted towards the end of our planting season on old alfalfa ground from last year at 31%. That sounds like high moisture corn. Um, I don't know if there's anything out there that will be wetter or not, but to me that seems like pretty good high moisture corn if we were to start right away. So, but uh, we'll combine that wet stuff for high moisture corn and hope we get the wettest stuff cleared away so we don't have to pay for the drying and we can grind it and put it in the, in the bag. It's later in the afternoon now, I'm running more samples. And I've got pulled three ears from random places in the field of the same variety. And I'm gonna hand shell them. And this variety looks a little wet yet. Still squeeze a little bit of juice off the tip of the kernel. So this will probably be a candidate for high moisture corn. Uh, I pulled, this afternoon I pulled samples of something that we have combined for high moisture corn for the last three years. Uh, that seemed a little on the drier side, so I'm guessing that will go for dry corn this year. So you can tell this is wet because it's harder shelling. Got to work a little harder to get it off. But I think this is going to wrap up today's video. Knock on wood, about 15 acres of beans left. That should get done today. I'm probably not going to be able to check that out. So thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Carter, out.